Sam Spade, back with another video, guys. Hey, I'm back with my 2013 and 2012 IMAX. Um, so OpenCore Legacy Patcher has been updated, and I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade this computer to Mac OS Sonoma. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. Let's get into it. Okay, so first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go to Google and type OpenCore, which should be the second one down, or OpenCore Legacy Patcher and uh, just go ahead and click on get started. Next you go down and click on download and build installers and click open core legacy patcher release apps. And then what we want is the latest version of 1.0.1 and then scroll all the way down and you don't want the first one, you want the second one. Click on the second one, the GUI app, click that and download. Okay, so once that's done downloading, go ahead and grab it from your downloads folder and put it in the applications folder. I already have it installed, so I'm going to go ahead and replace the old OpenCore installer. Now navigate to your applications folder and find the OpenCore and open it up. If it asks to verify, just go ahead and click open. And from here we can do a lot of things, uh, but what we want to do is come down to create the Mac OS installer. And it should pop up. You can download different versions of Mac OS. So it's gonna find the available software. Uh, you can find whichever OS you wanna download. In this case, we want Sonoma. It's 12.9 gigs, it's a large file. So go ahead and click download and it's going to take an indeterminate amount of time. So this is going to take a little bit of time to download. Uh, so let it do its thing and once it's done downloading, we'll go to the next step. So once it's done downloading, you should get a prompt for your password because it wants to extract the macOS installer. And you want to create the macOS installer. Uh, at this point, you want to make sure your USB is plugged in and it wants to use the installer that you just downloaded and select your USB drive. Click yes. Type in your password once again. This is gonna take a while, but you can see the thumb drive is popping in and out. Once that's done, you have successfully created the Mac OS installer. Go ahead and click yes. Now, it's gonna ask you to install OpenCore to the USB drive in order for us to be able to boot into the installer. Now, if it's blue, that means it's already installed on my hard drive, that's for my current OS. It's already installed on that drive, but we want to install it to the USB. So click the USB and the EFI partition. Go ahead and type your password in again and let it do its thing. And at this point, we're going to want to reboot and hold down the option key. Hold down the option key, you're going to have a couple different options here. Now, this is the original EFI boot open core on the iMac that allows it to boot Ventura. Normally, you would go into that one, uh, but neither of these from the base are going to mount. It's going to come up with an error. Uh, and then this is the external EFI boot that we just installed. So you can hit either EFI boot, but just hit the external EFI boot. Hold option again, if you've got any other OS's installed here. And then I've got Windows on here, on a separate partition. I've got Ventura, and then go over to install Mac OS Sonoma and hit enter. After a few seconds, it should pop up. And you can go ahead and hit disk utility. 
I like to do this if I'm doing a fresh install. Uh, so hit continue on the disk utility. Pull this up a little bit. Okay. So right here we've got Ventura, Ventura, and Ventura data. So what we want to do is go ahead and erase Ventura. FS volume. We can exit out of this and we still have our boot camp partition. I'm hoping that boot camp stays uh, unaffected by this, but we'll find out after the install. And then you can just go up here and install Mac OS Sonoma. experience a little bit of lag here that's because this computer was not designed to install Sonoma so this process might be a little bit slow for you but just power through it select the drive you want to install on in this case we're going to cook a little bit, shouldn't take long, it's 21 minutes, and we'll continue with the next step. Okay, during the install, it'll probably restart like four or five times, uh, just let it do its thing. You should get to the screen, just go ahead and run through the normal uh, installation procedures. Okay, so once uh, Sonoma boots up, OpenCore is going to pop up after a few minutes. Uh, this is because we booted from the USB drive and OpenCore is not installed on our local disk. So it's going to go ahead and build and, ins and then click install to disk. And as you can see here, uh, it is not installed on our main drive. Click that one and click the EFI. And this should allow you to boot without a USB stick. Go ahead and enter your password. And when that's done, go ahead and click reboot. All right, guys, we're back uh, rebooted and we're gonna check out the About This Mac. This is a 2012 iMac. And uh, we are running Sonoma 14.0. Go ahead and click more info. As you can see we are running the iMac, 16 gigs of RAM, Sonoma 14.0. Uh, so I noticed that my computer was running a little sluggishly and I installed this iStat monitor 
to monitor everything that goes on in the background. And to be honest with you guys, uh, this is a deal breaker for me. The graphics card is idling at about 75%. And uh, yeah, that's not going to cut it. So the graphics card runs at about 75%. It'll go as low as 50%, but it sits there at idle between 50% and 75%. Now I do have an older graphics card in this machine. It's only got 512 megabytes of RAM, but uh, to be honest with you, you know, it, it runs like crap on this 2012 iMac. Uh, and when you go ahead and start the screensaver, it's pretty cool, but it pinged my graphics card all the way to 100%. So that's just not an option for me. And to make matters worse, I was anticipating that target display mode would still function, but it does not. So I'm sad to report. I don't know if it's the open core legacy patcher that they just haven't patched in the target display mode functionality. Uh, hopefully they'll update it in future releases, but for right now, uh, it's back to Ventura for me. Well, I hope this video helped you guys. Uh, my first thoughts on Mac OS Sonoma, although it's really pretty and the wallpapers are animated and it looks cool, uh, target display mode doesn't work that's a deal breaker for me. So I think I'm gonna go back to Mac OS Ventura for the interim. Uh, like I said, I don't know if the OpenCore Legacy Patcher, they just haven't implemented target display mode back into OS Sonoma. No. Use caution guys, um, make your own judgment because these legacy machines, they just aren't capable of running Sonoma natively. Uh, so in this case, it's, it's just not gonna work for me. This machine is from 2012 and it runs Sonoma like crap. So I had no problems with Ventura. Ventura does run the graphics card a little bit higher, but uh, compared to Sonoma, not gonna work. So hopefully this, guy, this video helped you guys. Um, let me know in the comments down below uh, what your experience was with Mac OS Sonoma. Which computer did you install it on? and how is it running? Because for me, uh, no target display mode, no way. Uh, be sure to leave a comment down below, and uh, if you have any questions about this video, please uh, like, comment, and subscribe. I'm trying to gain more subscribers on this channel so that I can do future videos. Thanks, guys.